All right, let's continue with the market outlook as recent economic data has driven interest rates up, keeping equity markets very much on Fed watch. So for more, we welcome in Simeon Hyman. He is a ProShares Global Investment Strategist. Uh, Simeon, always great to see you here. So you were just listening to Brian outlay some of his uh, thinking from the morning brief here. Just what do you think of the upcoming earnings season, even though we haven't even closed the door on uh, Q1 here? Yeah, it's it's very interesting. People have gotten very worked up about the rise in interest rates over the last month, and they've gotten worked up over the incremental, uh, the more and more inversion of the yield curve. But if you look a little bit more carefully, what you see is actually the yield curve got less inverted on a real basis. So what that means is that inflation expectations have stayed actually pretty stable on the long end. So that big jump in the 10-year, that actually dramatically increased real interest rates and actually real rates are flat between the two and the tens so my takeaway from that is that the bond market isn't necessarily raising the scary recession and bad world uh bad world that that people that people think that it's indicating and what that says for stocks is stable pe's but if the near-term inflation numbers are going to stay sticky. That's the margin story that you were just referring to. And so, Simeon, as you look at these, I mean, the way that, that Saz painted it sort of in his morning brief is that, like, you're sort of trying to sail through a very narrow passage um, that could lead to positive returns. Um, do you see it that way as well? And what does that, what does that situation look like? Oh, that's absolutely right. You know, if you look at the this pullback in the equity markets. Common intuition says, oh, it was all about rising interest rates. Not at all. Q4 earnings season deteriorated from roughly flat year over year to minus 2% year over year as February unfolded, and it was a 2% pullback in the equity markets. So it really is all about earnings. And that 2% pullback is substantial margin compression because S&P 500 top line was about 5%. So you got to look for the companies that have some pricing power. We talk a lot about the S&P 500 dividend aristocrats. It's our ticker NOBL. Those companies with the same 5 or 6% top line actually increased earnings 11% year over year. So you got to show up with the pricing power and you got to show up with some ability to fight off these rising costs that are going to be sticky for the next 12 to 24 months. All right. So we just covered uh, one market in particular, one ETF uh, covering um, the uh, the uh, dividend market. Just wondering what other places should investors be looking for opportunity right now, um, and especially in some of the other in light of some of the other economic data that we've gotten out, out over the last month? Well, I think the other area of the market that folks should focus on are mid and small cap stocks, particularly mid cap stocks that have been so ignored. If you ignored mid cap stocks for the last decade, you're a winner. We know what happened up until about 12 to 18 months ago with the run of large and mega cap stocks. But over the decades, mid caps have been a big winner. And in fact, recently, so let's let's put it in context. After that 10-year run of underperformance, they're trading at about 50 cents on the dollar. Same with the Russell 2000, so both mid and small on sale. But if you look at those mid caps, they're actually generating in aggregate uh, more earnings growth than the S&P 500. So that's a place that people shouldn't ignore. Um, why is that happening, Simeon? Well, I think what you've had is, number one, the, the price thing we know. So the price part is the run of of super large cap tech, which has driven you know outsized gains again up to about a year ago, but still that that discount is there on the mid cap side. But if you look at what's going on with margins and earnings there, you have a little bit more of opportunity because of the domestic focus, because there's a little bit less tech and a little bit of a shift towards that service side. And we all know that it's the tale of two economies right now. ISM manufacturing 47, that's the last reading, contractionary, services 55 that's dramatically expansionary so there's a little bit of a sector story in that mid cap piece as well makes sense simeon good to see you thanks a lot pro shares global investment strategist simeon hyman